Hey, Sneaker Lords, back in the house today. Today we have the latest beta 2 from Elementary OS Luna. Luna, 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 the moon? Yeah, of course it is. Now, Elementary OS, as you know, is Ubuntu based, but it's supposed to be a smooth and simple experience for you. Bit of Gnome 3, which they call is it, is it Path and Donald's name. And there's another kickoff launcher, which I forgot the name of. You know what I'm saying? I forget things sometimes, old age, you know what I'm saying? It does look rather nice and it runs rather smooth. And I'll give you a quick look round, okay? As you can see, nice clean desktop. I did change the background picture because the other one was getting on my nerves, okay? But on your bottom little bar, we have Midori for your basic web browser. We have Geary Mail for your mail usage. We have Empathy for all your instant messaging stuffy and stuff like that. We have Music for your music, basically. I'll open it up for you. Remember, if you've seen a couple of weeks ago, there was a distro that had music in it. And basically, it just does music, yeah. Even if you go to the settings, yeah, that's, that's all you do. I go to preferences, yeah. So it just plays music. It's going on the premise. I imagine that people don't have CDs or want to rip stuff anymore from their CDs to put on the computers. Although it is actually illegal in some parts of the world, so don't do it if it is. Okay, so that's music anyway. Down here we get a movie player, which I imagine is a kickoff from known player. Then we have the latest version of Shop World's just been upgraded, so that's super duper. I'll open that for you. Just taking a quick look while we're here. And you go, Shop World does what it says on the tin. I don't really need to show you too much about it, really. I could do, but then, you know, I've done this so many times before. And there you go, Shop World 0.13.1. Super duper. Okay. Goodbye, Shop World. See you later. Next on the line, we have our system settings. I'm not going to go into them just yet. I'll do them in a minute. Then we have our software centre, because it is a software centre. Very like Ubuntu one, but not. Okay. Then we have our calendar. If you like your calendar stuff, it's there, okay. And yeah, nice big calendar. Now, so I wanted to make that a bit smaller. I'm going to go down there. I've, got, I've actually set up my um, hot corners, as I call them. Hot corners. It's not we have hot stuff. It's where you can put your mousey arrow, and the stuff will happen, if you know what I mean. Okay. That's enough of that. Okay. And then on the end, we've got report a bug. Why is a ladybug there? I don't know. We used to call them ladybugs in the States, but it's a ladybird, okay? Let's get the name right. 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 So anyway, as I said before, we've got hot corners, okay? So in my top left, if I put my mouse over there, we get our applications. Now, I've actually installed some applications here, but it doesn't actually come with a lot. But then again, it's under 700 megabytes of download. So, you know, you can't expect to do much for that nowadays, as they're most getting over to a gig now, well over a gig. And they're using USB. Well, nobody really likes doing that. Okay, yeah. See what, see what we go. Have installed Abbey Word. Okay, I'll do that. Bye for future run. Abbey Word comes up. I'll go back up into my hot corner. Hot, hot, hot. And then I've also got G Numeric. It's G Numeric, yeah, if you're not in me. Yeah. So I can go down there in my other hot corner and I can show both. I'll go back down there. I can show one. I'll go back down there. I show both. Oh, I might want that. And you go like that. See what I mean? Yeah. See what we did, wouldn't it? There's lots of other shortcuts that I haven't actually learnt them all yet, but being like known three-ish, you know what I mean? There's probably quite a few. Yeah. So up here we have log out, suspend, and shut down. We have me. So if I go to my guest account, I'll go to me. It's installed, by the way. It's not a live CD. Otherwise, you know, it won't be working. There's your mail icon there, just in case you've got some mail coming in. My internet connection and my sound and volume. I can go to my sound settings if I go here. You'll see exactly what I mean. So you've got output, input, and stuff like that. As you can see, the mouse, uh, sorry, the volume of my microphone is going up and down. Very well, thank you very much, please. Okay, lovely. So that's the ones anyway. Well, it's good. So, see, it's quite basic, really. Now, they actually style it on being simple and elegant. Now, yes, I can give live that. I'm not sure if I could live with it permanently, and I don't know. I'm getting used to these new desktops now. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting with it, man. I'm getting down with the kids, man. Anyway, back up here. Where was I? Yes. If I go along to number two, number two, 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 and we go to our system settings, loading it up for you, you can have a quick look. I'll oh, just see simple scans here. Everything's basically ready to go. You know, basically, and I updated it. There wasn't many updates, so, you know, it's hunky dory. Here you can do your brightness, defaults, desktop, language support, privacy, starter applications, printers, power, mouse and touchpad, keyboard, displays, color, additional drivers, sound. Your Wacom graphics tablet, if you've got one. Actually, they're quite cheap now, so you should all go and buy one. You can actually use them at the same time as your mouse and keyboard, unlike some Windows stuff where you have to unplug one and go never. But I think that's only with AMD chips. I can't actually remember now. My brain's gone. And over here we've got settings and go about. And it's called Switchboard. Switchboard, yeah. Well, I suppose it's a good one for it, yeah. I can live with that, yeah. No problemo. Yeah. 
Anyway, I'll go back up into my corner. Hello, Connor. How are you again? There's also our update manager, and they've already updated it, so no big deal for me. I'm going to go back one. What else is in there? There's not a lot, really. There's a PDF viewer, of course, that usually it uses Midori as its standard browser. Okay, Midori. Yeah, right. You want that sort of thing? It's entirely up to you. Okay. There's also Scratch here for doing your text editing. Yeah, for editing text. You can see there's no system monitor either. No. We didn't know we were. So if I open up the software center and we'll see if we can get something, okay? Wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Oh, here it comes. That's all right. Dun, 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 dun. As with all distros, they're always faster and better on real hardware than they are from the live CD or in the box, okay? Keep that to yourself because that is the truth, man. Yeah. So, say I want another browser. So, we say Chromium or Firefox. What do you want? So, we go to Firefox because I'd be liking Firefox. Oh, there we go. Firefox browser. Let's have some more info on that and see if it'll do anything for us while we're here. Now, in theory, this shouldn't have to take too long, should it really? So, I'm just going to click on install, and in theory, it should ask me for my passwords, which I'm going to put it in now. Okay, bear in mind, Ubuntu base, so it should work seamlessly. There shouldn't be really many bugs, really, but then again, it is only a beta. Beta, 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 pumpkin eater. Oh, yeah. There we go, it's downloaded nice and fast for us. We'll just wait for it to go down, which we'll quickly use it in a second. What I did found when I installed um, Abbey Word and Numeric, uh, a couple of the icons were missing, so after a reboot, they all come. So it was, well, for me, I was happy with that. Yeah, you'd be happy with that? Oh, I know you would be happy with that. Now, while we're doing this, we can also go to Applications Menu if we wanted to. Uh, last time I did that, uh, the software center started to not work. <clears throat> Although it was working underneath the hood, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it was. It just... It, just stopped working for some reason. But then again, it's only beta. 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 Got my hot corn again. And there's our Firefox web browser. I'm going to click on it. And I'll wait a minute. I've not put uh, two type fonts in either at the moment. Uh, that was the main problem, actually, when I was uh, doing an update there. It installed all the other restrictors, but not the MS true type fonts. For the simple reason, you have to accept it, and nothing came up to accept, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I'll go to my right corner. Look. Da -da -da. Makes it nice and big, baby. Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. We can go Google's just to make sure it all works, which it does. It will play YouTube videos now, so if I quickly go here and I'll click over there while we're there, so you see that is like, and that was hand, yeah. And we can we could put me up there, couldn't we? Shall we put me up there? Let's have a look. There's me. Okay. I see what's gone down in the past couple of days. I don't mind never know. Uh, let's go there. Just because we want to. Because we want to. There you go. All works out. I must get my artwork done up here, actually. I'll skip around to that this weekend. Yeah. So there's my last video done. It started playing in the background in a small window. I don't like it when it does that, but hey, what can you do? The tube keeps changing all the bleeding time. It just does things like that, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's how it works out the way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. See you later. So anyway, elementary OS beta 2. Now, because it's a beta, I'm not going to rate it for the simple reason it wouldn't be fair, would it? Well, if it was really, really, really super hot, 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 hot off a shovel, I would, because uh, I'd, you know, I'd be cheating, wouldn't I? Yeah. Elementary OS beta, very, very nice. It, I don't think it'd be my cup of tea, but a lot of you will like it, because it's got a quite a clean and simple interface. Yeah, it's nice and clean, it. It's got GNOME that works nice and fast. It, it's all been upgraded. It all works now. GNOME's coming of age. The same as Unity. When they first come out, let's be honest, they are bleeding rubbish, weren't they? Yeah. They just worked so slow. They hogged the memory and just didn't do stuff. Now, time's gone on. Everything works. It's just like running in your car, isn't it? Sometimes you have to change a few parts to make it work smoother. <laughs> anyway, elementary OS Beta 2. Or Luna, Luna, Luna. I'm lagging very much. It's very, very nice. A lot of you will like it, but some of you won't like the gnome free effect sort of thing, or path nine or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, but you know where it is. If you want to go and get it, go and download it yourself. It's available from their site or from DistroWatch or Softpedia or the other one. And all the other ones, there's loads of them that they can download all stuff from. Go and give it a go if you like it. It's a small download, so there's no you know excuse not to do it really. And it will run reasonable from a live CD. But obviously, if you want to install it, put it to a key. No big deal. And have some persistent storage. Make sure it's a fast key that way. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Anyway, sneaky. The next gang out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.